Good morning, students. In my last lecture, I have <coughs> completed exercise 5.1. Now, this I will cover. Lecture I will cover the topic 5.3 or section 5.3 of chapter 5 mathematics that is arithmetic progression. Now, this is this is AP and this is doing the terms. So. How what is the second term? This is written as this, and this is the fourth third term, fourth term. And if you see the unit term, this is written by a plus and minus one dy. Already told you, it is generally the general term of an AP, and the last term of an AP. They have noted by some other notation also, they have taken L. So, directly, I am going to this example. So, this says I find the tenth term of an AP 2, 7, 12, dot dot dot. So, example. Three. It is given that the AP is two seven one dot dot dot. Find tenth term. So how we calculate for tenth term? So see, see this the AP start with two. This is the value of A. That is first term is two. Now what is common difference? D D is nothing but you can take any two consecutive numbers. That is, I am taking. Is seven and then two is in nothing but just seven minus two is five. So common difference is five. Now if you apply the formula that is a of n and is an term equal to a plus n minus one d. Which implies that if you put this is the value of n, this you need to find a ten terms so which implies that the value of n. The value of n is ten. So a of ten is nothing but this is a this in place of a you write two plus n. N is ten so ten minus one into d is five. Nothing but this is 2 plus 9 into 5, 9 to 45 plus 2, 47. 47 is the answer. So the 10 term is 47. Now, next is example number 4. See, this 10 term is 47. For which term of this also, uh, which term of AP is minus 81? Also, find. It also is any term zero. Give reason for your answer. Okay. Series 21, 18, 15. 21, 18, 15. You first and dot dot dot. You need to first find out whether 81 is there in this series. And second, you need to find that is zero. Well, then find which which is term is. Minus 81, and the second term is whether 0 is included in here, and we need to justify the answer also. So, it is given this is an AP, so you know, need not to check the series. So, if in this is an AP, this is my first term, is, there is a value of a is 21. And the common difference that you find is this common difference is nothing but next term minus a previous preceding term, nothing but minus of 3. So you can see from which it is. Is that this is a decreasing arithmetic progression? Decreasing arithmetic progression. So the value will decrease, the next value will decrease from the previous value. This is 31, 18, 15, and so on. Now, what is it? Is minus 81 is a term? So, assuming I'm doing, uh, I'm doing first question, so assuming this is this term is exist. The uh, suppose this is minus 81 the first term. So, it is given that the n term, suppose this n term is minus 81. So a of n is minus 81. Now you need to find the value of n. It means what? Now, say, uh, now if you know uh, if you apply the formula that an is nothing but a plus n minus 1 d. So if I put the value of a n as minus 81, so which implies the uh, value of a is 21 plus n minus 1 n is we don't know, and d is in this is minus of 3. Which implies that. If you take this here, this is nothing but minus 102 into n minus 1 into minus 3. Now, if you divide this, this is 3 when the this is minus and minus and sign get cancelled, and 3 in the 3, and this is 3, 3 and 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 2, 12. Which implies that n minus 1 equal to 34, which implies that n equals 34 plus 1 equal to 35. Since n uh, this n is 35, so this means that 35th term of the above AP arithmetic progression is minus 81. 
Now with this, this solves your first part. Now what's the second part say that? Check whether zero is included in the series. So if zero is included, then assume that this a nth term is zero. So if this in any case the nth term is zero, then you need to find the, that value of n. What will it tell you? This is n a n n. We will apply the same formula. So a n equal to a plus n minus one b. Now a n is equal to zero. A is given to be twenty one. And you don't know. You need to find the value of n. And d is nothing but minus two. So which is why if you take this here. And this becomes this is minus twenty one equal to n minus one into minus three. So if you write this as three times twenty one, seven, which implies that n minus one equal to seven. Which means if you take one here, this is n equals seven plus one is nothing but eight. When you have is n is nothing but eight. So since the when u of n is whole number, the whole number. This is not eight point five or so this. Since this is a whole number, we simply that or you can say the natural number, not whole number, only two zero. This is natural number. So hence you can say that yes, zero is included in the series. Or zero is a yes, zero is a term of the series. That's our definition. Now next example is example number five. So you can see from here that is any value thirty five is the best answer for this and. N equal to eight is the zero. Zero. Now determine the AP whose third term is five and seventh term is nine. So it is given that the third term, third term is five, and so and seventh term is nine, and seventh term is nine. Now it is given that to this. Now in, uh, what you will do here that you will assume some series. Now, even for what to even let the A P B A A plus D A plus two D A plus three D and so on. Where A is the first term, first term, and D is the common common difference. Which is whether the third term is fine. So you need to apply the formula a of n equal to a plus n minus one d. Now for a third term, this is the value of a is three. So this a three equal to a plus just three minus one into d, which is nothing but a plus two d. And from here you know that this a three is given to you in the question, which is fine. It is a plus two d equals five. This is I will take this to be my first equation. Now the next is uh, seven term is nine, so which is the e of seven is given to be nine. And this is nothing but this is seven minus one d then a plus six d. This is nothing but this value is nine. This is nine. This is my second equation. Now I have <coughs> shown my previous lecture of how to solve this uh, linear equation. Variables. We can directly say this: both terms, both the term this a and a is same. So I will directly subtract these two terms. So which implies that I will be getting this. This directly subtracting to this a plus two d equal to five, and a plus six d equal to nine. And then directly subtracting these two to get my design value. Which implies that this if you subtract these two, there will minus sign. There will minus sign. There will minus sign. So a minus a becomes zero, zero. This is zero, and not even directly. This is zero. Now two minus six is minus four d, and five minus n is minus four, which implies that from here d value is one. So the common difference d is one. Now if I substitute this value here in this equation, which implies that this a plus two d equal to five, which implies this is from here. A plus two d equal to five, which implies if I substitute the value d as one, which is two into one equal to five, which implies that a equal to five minus two is nothing but three. So the first term is three. So what are my series? So my series if I look at my series is three. Is it next is three plus one, that is four. The next is four plus one, which is nothing but five. The next is um, three plus this is five plus one, which is six. That is 
थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स नेगेटिव डायरेक्शन इज माय सीरीज डिवाइन द एपीएस इज द एपीएस थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स एंड सेवन यू कैन इवन राइट एक्सटर्नल मोशन्स दिस इज एक्सटर्नल डेक्लोरेशन दिस इज द आंसर दिस इज द आंसर नो व्हाट इज नेक्स्ट इज दिस फॉर एग्जांपल नंबर फाइव so what is example number 6 which say check whether 301 is a term of the list 5 11 17 23 so the example 6 is 5 7 11 23 23 and so on i need to check what is 301 is a term of this Is given it is an AP. So this, if you see this, this first term is five. So this first term A that is five. And what is common difference? Common difference is state is this term minus previous term. The seven minus five is nothing but this is two. So the common difference will be two. Now you take you take the with the three zero one as a term or not. So if I apply the function a and equal to a. Plus n minus one. This is n times. I'm assuming that my n term is equal to three zero one. So if it's my n term is equal to zero, in place of n I will write three zero one, and in place of a is given to be my five, and n is you don't know, and d is known as this two is not minus this. Which implies I substitute this value in minus one into two. Then the thing is three zero one minus five is nothing but one two nine to six. This is two nine to six. Now, which implies that if you, like this is n minus one is nothing but two ninety six by two. Which implies this is two minus two two minus two two four is eight two minus six is forty eight. Which implies that this is nothing but one forty eight plus one one forty nine. Which implies that one forty ninth term of the series is three zero one. One forty ninth term of the series three zero one. Now, if you see, look at this. Question three zero one five seven eleven five eleven oh sorry nothing got me wrong five eleven seventeen twenty three five eleven seventeen twenty three one mistake five eleven seventeen so sorry I have taken the wrong city I am not in Series. This is series of five, eleven, seventeen, twenty-three. We need to find whether C zero one is included in this AP or not. Now, if you write C, that this is my first term is nothing but A equal to five. Common difference is D. This is eleven minus five is nothing but six. This is six is my common difference. And I'm assuming that this term is my nth term. So for nth term, a n equal to a plus n minus one d. Now in place of a n, I will write three zero one. And I'm assuming that my nth term is three zero one. In place of a, this is five n minus one d is six. Which implies that from here, this is n minus one into six in the thing, but three zero one minus five in the thing, but two ninety six. Which implies that n minus one is equal two ninety six by Six, so which is equal to six one six one twenty four fifty six. Now fifty four twenty six three forty nine point three three, which implies that value of n is forty nine point three three plus one is nothing but fifty point three three. And from here you can see that the value of n is not a natural number. Not a natural number. It is a real number, but not a natural number. It is not a. There is point three three. Then there is nothing term like fifty point three three or two point three three. The terms are first term, second term, third term, fourth term, and not in points. Since this is not a natural number, uh, not a natural number, it implies that no value. So which implies that no value of n exists. Which implies further implies that C zero one is not a part of this arithmetic progression. This is even this is shown to be 
151 by 3 and this is 550.3 Okay, this is the what the integer is not an integer value and you can say it's not an integer value so this is now seventh is how many two digit numbers are divisible by three how many two digit numbers are divisible by three so, so example number seven is how many two digit number are divisible by three so in the question divide this is two digit number digit number are divisible by need to divide by divisible by three now if you know uh, you know that this two digit number starts from ten this is ten eleven twelve and so on and ends up at 99 this is the last two digit number now which is to be divisible by 3 now if you divide 10 by 3 what you get is 3 3 is a 9 this is this remainder is 1 the remainder is 1 now if you add 2 to this if you add further if add 2 to this if there being 10 plus 2 or even if this 10 plus 2 this will be 12 because this and what this is not exactly 10 plus 12 this is this is, this is 10 plus 3 minus 1 1 is my remainder and 3 is my divisor if you write it this is nothing but 12 which the first number Two digit number to divide by three is well. So the 10, 11 is neglected. The first, my first number will be 12. Now you know that if you see the clearly the table of three, just three, 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 six, three, three, nine. The difference is always three. The difference is always three. So from here it is, it is inferred that the if first integer is 12, then another next will be 15. There is 12 plus three, and if next is 15 its next number will be 18 it is so on what is my last number my last number will be i need to check whether 99 is divisible by 3 or not so if 99 is divisible i need to check whether this is divisible by 3 or not if you divide by 3 is 3 is 9 this is 0 9 then 3 is 9 this is again 0 9 so 0 since the vendor is 0 so you can say that this 99 is divisible by this. now had it been the series till 98 now if you check the value of 98 the, if you check the divisibility of 98 by 3 then this is 3 3 and 9 this is 9 and this becomes 0 and there is 8 0 8 is 8 and if you say 3 and 3 to 6 this is, this is 6 and from here this is 2 so what is the last number till which it is divisible by 3 is given by this you subtract this from this and minus 98 minus 2 equal to 96 which is divisible by 3 you had to do 96 but here you, it is given that the numbers are till 99 directly it is two digit number are itself last till 99 so in 99 itself is divisible by 3 so the series the series will be 12 15 18 up till 99 now what does the question says that how many two digit numbers now how many two digits how many numbers are there so how many numbers is, is means value of n you need to find you need to find the value of n now how will you find the value of n the, this you know that first term is 12 common difference is 3 and what is the n term n term i help when the series stops till 99 so n term is 99 now n term now you know the formula of n term is a n equal to a plus n minus 1 into d now a of n is 99 what is a a is going to be 12 and n you don't know and you have to find and the value of d is 3 now if you solve further supply that this if you take here this is 99 minus 12 equal to n minus 1 into 3 which implies that this is 3 into n minus 1 and the same thing equals this is 99 minus 12 is 87 which implies that n minus 1 equal to 87 by 3 3 to the 6 and is 29 equal to 29 plus 1 is nothing but 30 so there are 30 numbers from the series 12 to 
is 30 22 uh, digit numbers from and there's 32 digit numbers to the total are divided by 3 and if you check the answer this is i think 30 and yes 32 digit numbers are divided by 3 this is the answer now let's just find the 11th term from the last term towards the first term of the CAP 10, 7, 4, 10 minus 6 to 2. So now this is example 8, 10, 7, 4, minus 6 to 2. Ten seven four up till minus sixty two. So this is my series, and if you see that this is my AP and this AP, I know that this is my first term. This is plus this value of A is ten, and you calculate the value of D. Value of D is nothing but the next term minus previous term. So this is seven minus ten is nothing but this is minus three. Come this is minus three, and if you <coughs> Want to find the which term you find the from the last? You need to find eleventh term from the last. So eleventh term from last. Now you know that your last term is sixty-two. It implies that your a of n last term is sixty-two. Now if you find you know that this a of n is equal to a plus n minus one d. Now if you put a of n as minus 62 we will get how many terms are there in the series so minus 62 equal to a plus this is no sorry a in value of a plus of a i will write 10 plus n minus 1 into minus 3 if i put this is here i will get this is minus n minus 1 into minus 3 62 min, minus 62 minus 10 this is minus 72 if you divide this 3 into 3 and this minus n minus 7 get cancelled and 3 minus 3 to the 6 there is 12, 3, 4, 12, which implies that value of n minus 1 is nothing but, sorry, the value of n, n is 24 plus 1, nothing but is 25, value of n is 25, there are 25 terms in the series, and I have already taught you that, this is m, let my m, this is, I am counting from here, and this is 1, 2, 3 and this is m. Now value of m is going to be an 11. Now what is the this term from the first of this number? The first from the series, how will be this number? What is the count from this number from starting? So from starting it will be like, I am taking this to n dash, n dash is nothing but n plus 1 minus m. And the thing where n is given to be 25 plus 1 minus 11, which is nothing but 26 minus 11, which is equal to 15. 15. Even if you have three terms, suppose 1, 2, no, 5 terms, like 3, 4, and 5, and from that counting, it is fourth term this term is fourth term from last this is one two three four fourth term from last to from first this is second this is second term so how you get the second this is total their terms are five and if it is five plus one and minus of this is fourth term from last this, this value will come here this is nothing but this if you, if you see this is five plus one is six and minus four equals to two this is second term from first i also done the same that is n dash is 15. So if n dash is 15, I want to find this is a of 15. a of 15 is nothing but a plus 15 minus 1 into d. If I substitute the value of a, a is given to be my 10. This is 15 minus 1. And d is minus 3. 10 plus 14 into minus 3. 12, 42. This is minus 10 minus 42, nothing but minus 32. Which implies that a of 15 is minus 32. There, minus 52. And the, or you can say that the 11th term from the last is minus 32. 
see here also this is minus 32 this is this the last term will be 15 term so now we'll take the solution this is you can need to write the reverse order this is hmm. if we write the reverse order you can also calculate this series now this is nothing but taking the series to be in reverse order and if the common difference is minus 3 from first to last which implies of from last to third it will become plus 3 and so apply the formula of you can calculate the value of n and from the value of n you uh, you don't need not, you don't even need to calculate the value of n you directly put the value of the term this is 11 from last if the value of n is 11 and 8 and apply it to some minus 1 d it will give you the desired result desired result Example 9, a sum of 1000 invested at 8% simple interest per year. Calculate the interest at the end of each year. Okay, do this interval from an AP. If so, find the interest at the end of 30 years. We can use of this fact. So, 1000 at 8% till 30. 1000 at 8% till 30. Example 9 is 1000 at 8% then 30 years. Now, you know this simple interest formula, this simple interest formula is nothing but this P into R into T upon 100. What is P? P is my principal. Um, principal R is rate of interest per annum interest per annum and T is time period so time period so what is the simple interest each year is so if you calculate the simple interest this is my principal this is given this is my P this is R and T I am supposing this is per year this is for for one year my SI will be SI of the SI1 will be P is 1000 into R into 1 by 100. So if you get this is 100, this is this is cancelled. This will be 80. Now for 2 years, SI will be this is 1 times 100,000. If you take this amount for 2 years, this is 8 into 2 by 100. This is sorry by hundred and nothing to be one sixty nothing to be one sixty and for third year for three years if you take the simple interest it will be this is SI two and this will be one ten and thousand into eight into three by zero is nothing P to forty now if you clearly see this is eighty and this is this forms an AP and the series is rupees 80, rupees 160, rupees 240 and so on. Now you see the difference, this difference is rupees 80 is the difference, and here also difference is rupees 80 and you continue, hence it forms an AP, hence it forms an arithmetic progression. Now it is saying that saying that uh, those in, uh, the if so find the interest at the end of 30 years making use of this fact so 30 at the end of 30 years so at the end of the, thir uh, the 30 years if you take directly 30 years this is given to be this is a of n equal to a plus n minus 1 b now n is given to be 30 years and it's 30 so this is 30 value of a is rupees 80 and the common difference d is rupees this is also 80 so if i apply this formula i will substitute this value in the formula this is a of n is nothing else a a is nothing else is rupee 80 plus 30 is 30 minus 1 into 80 so, you think 80 plus 29 into 80 
I don't think this is 30 into 80. If you take 80 common, this will be plus 1, this will become 30. So this is 24. This is rupee. And this is rupee 24. Done. If you see this here, this is also 24. Now, example 10. In a flower bed, there are 23 roses plants. In first row, 21 in second row, 19, third row, and so on. There are 5 rose plants in the last row. How many rows are there? How many rows are there? So, in the flower, there are 23, 21, 19. 23, 21, 19. Example number, number 10. This is 23, 21, 19, and so on till 5. It is given that in your first row, there is 23 flowers. In the second row, there are 21 and in the third row we have 19 and so on till the last row having 5. Now we need to calculate how many rows are there. So you ultimately need to calculate what is the value of n. For which you are given that your first term is 23 as a equal to 23. The common difference d is nothing but this is 21 minus 23. And if you see this series, this is the common difference is minus 2, this is also minus 2. And so this, this the common difference is same which by this function e p. This is minus two the common difference. And if you see that this is the last term is five, which implies that e of n is equal to five. And n this is the value of n this is the number of rows in the flower bed. So this is the number of rows and the value of n you need to find, which implies that a of n means the a of n is equal to a plus n minus one into d. Then we substitute the value of a n as five. And value of a is going to be 23 minus this plus n minus 1 into d is minus, minus 2. It implies that this is n minus 1 into minus 2 minus 2 equal to 5 minus 23. It is nothing but minus of 18. It implies that n minus 1 equal to minus 18 by minus 2. It is nothing but neither 18. Which so which apply the n equal to nine plus one is nothing but ten. The value of so there are ten rows in value of n is ten, which means there are ten rows in a flower bed. Flower bed are ten rows. You see this the value is ten. This value is ten. Now there are how many question? Twenty questions that have been Quickly finish this small exercise. We will try to finish this exercise. So, exercise 5.2. Directly going to exercise 5.2. This is my exercise. Question number one. It says that find fill in the blanks in the following table. Given the A is the first term, D is the common difference, and is the N. And it um, so I'm just So this is, I'm taking first here this so you can see from this doing side by side. So this is I the table is this A D N is given. So A D N this is a n is given this is a 7 this is 3 this is 8 what how will you find the a value of a n is that a n this is my first so a n is nothing but equal to 
this is n terminal equal to a plus n minus 1 into d which implies that the value of a n uh, this l a n is equal to this is a plus this is 7 minus sorry is 7 given n is 8 minus 1 and d is 3 implies this is 7 plus 7 into 3 this is 7 for 28 this is 28 so the left a n is 28 so this 28 is here the answer now second it is given that uh, this is minus this a is minus 80 d we need to find n is 10 and a of n is 0 n is 0 so what you will do this for this you need to do this in the simple uh, this a n this and again applying the same formula as a n equal to a plus n minus 1 to d so a, a n is 0 a is given to be minus 80 plus n is given to be 10 minus 1 and d you don't know means that d you don't know so this is if you take this is here this is 18 equal to 9 into d which implies that the value of d is equal to 18 by 9 so the common difference is 2 next is third here it is given that the a if you see this third it is this is a is not given so we need to find then d is minus 3 and n is this is 8, 18 terms are there and the n term is minus 5 how will you do this this is nothing but and nothing but this a uh, n is going to be so applying the same one n is going to be a plus n minus 1 into d now if I substitute the value of a n this is minus 5 equal to this a I don't know so this I will write it a n this is 18 minus 1 into this is minus 3 so if I uh, substitute this I will take this this is minus this is minus five equal to a plus this is, uh, seventeen into minus three. So which implies this is a minus twenty one is minus fifty one. So we take the minus fifty one. A minus fifty one, which implies that will you a is fifty one minus five, nothing but forty six. So will you a is forty six. Now next is the fourth question. This fourth, well, fourth means are uh, the fourth part. This is this a is going to be minus 18.9 and uh, d is to be 2.5. You can say that you can have the series with point, but you cannot have the value of n in point because n is an, always an integer. And so n you need to find, and it is given that the n term is 3.6. So now again applying the same formula. So this is nothing but uh, this is a of n equal to a plus n minus one into d. And if you calculate, if you put the substitute the value of a n is three point six, three point six value of a is going to be eighteen point nine, and n individual no not is n minus one and d which is given that d is two point five. 18.9. Now if you take this eighteen point nine on the other side. 18.9 on this side, which is nothing but this is 3.6 plus 18.9. 18.9 is equals this is n minus 1 into 2.5. If you add this is 5, this is 18, 19, 20, 21, 20, 9, so 15, this is 21, 22, this is 2.5 equal to n minus 1 2.5 which implies that if you if you just solve this this is I think this is n minus 1 n minus 1 is equal to 2 2.5 by 2.5 and if you divide this this will give you 
this two to until this two to five this point doesn't and this is 25 and you know that this is 25 9 is a 2 to the 5 then, so which implies that the value of n is 9 plus 1 equals to 10 so the value of n is 10 which is the answer now next is fifth so what is fifth if this is given that value of a is 3.5 value of d is 0 0 and the value of n is 105 and a n you need to find is what n is the thing you need to find so what is a n uh, a n you know that this is again i'm writing a n equal to a plus n minus 1 into d and a n is we don't know so a n equal to what and a is 3.5 plus n is 105 minus 1 is 105 so 105 and d is going to be 0 so you multiply this by 0 is nothing but a n equals 3.5 so 3.5 3.5 so is the multiple multiple by so 3.5 is my unit term which is the answer now second So second question, it says that in the second part number one, it says that the 30th term of an AP is is what? So the AP is going to be 10, 7. For this one, that is an AP. Not to verify or check this. So this is first term. First term, this is my A equal to 10, and D is you know that this is this term second seven minus ten is equal to which is equal to minus three. Now it is given the thirty eight term you need to find. So which is that n is given to be thirty. So what is my thirty eight term? If you apply the formula, what you get is this is e of n equal to a plus n minus one d. In minus one d. If you solve this put the value, so this is a of 30 is nothing but the thing that a is 10, this is 30 minus 1, and d is minus 3. Minus 3, which implies that e of 30 is nothing but 10 plus 29 minus 3. So if you see, you solve this, this is. 10 plus this is this become minus 97 7 87 minus 87 is so nothing minus 77 so a of 30 is 38 term will be minus 77 will be minus 77 so the according to this the correct option will be this the correct option will be d so D is my correct option. Now next is second part. Second part is says that what find the eleventh term of an AP. The AP is this is minus three, next is minus half, and this is two, and so on. And you find the eleventh term. So you find the eleventh term. So as per the series, you say that this is my first term, so this A is equal to minus three. And D is equal to this is minus half. This is already an AP. You need, not, need not to check this. So this two, this is nothing but right? this is minus half plus three, which is nothing but three to six minus one. This is five by two. Five by two. And if n is it given that you need to find eleven, so which means the value of n is eleven. Now, if you further solve this, so this will turn out to be this. Is, I am planning for this a n equal to a plus n minus 1 d n minus 1 d so if i write as this a of 11 is my 11 term will be minus 3 plus this is in place of n you can substitute value of 11 minus 1 and d is d is nothing but this is 5 by 2 so this is, this is minus 3 plus will be 10 into 5 by 2 
uh, by two, so this two five is ten, and this is this is nothing but this is plus sign here. This is minus three plus twenty five, nothing but twenty two. So if eleven is twenty two, which is the answer. So what is the correct option? The correct option is B. B is the correct option. Now question number three. Question number three. So the question this can be asked in one mark question. So you need to be smart enough so that you can solve this question in very short time. First, what is the series is, is given to be two dash and this you need to find this with dash. So for and this is going to say is an AP. Now I have already told that for two numbers to be an AP, the common difference must be same. So what is the common difference? So one at one time you can write this common difference that this is if I say this is my x, this is x minus two, and also my common difference will be twenty six minus x. And this should be same because with a common difference in AP common is the same. So this is x minus two will be equal to twenty six minus x, which implies that if I take value of x here, this is two x equal to twenty six plus two is equal to twenty eight, and which implies that x equal to twenty eight by two which is nothing but 14, which is the answer. The value of x is 14. So this answer, the missing number is in the box is 14. Is 14. Now next is second question. So second question is uh, this is this is given three times. So this is 13. Again this and again this is given three. Now I'm taking this to be my x and y. X and Y. So ultimately, it is my first term and third term. Ultimately, this is nothing but this is my first term. This is my third term. So X is nothing but this is E plus. So this is A. X is A. Now what is thirteen? Thirteen is A plus two D. What is y? Y is a plus three d. What is three in the middle? A plus four d. Four d. If you clearly see that from this equation, in this equation you can find the value of d. So subtracting this equation is thirteen equal to a plus two d, and here three equal to a plus Four D. And if you subtract the two values, so what you will get is this is ten minus this is minus zero minus zero minus ten minus thirteen minus three is ten. And a minus A is ultimately zero. Cancel this is two minus four D is minus two D. Minus two D, which implies that D is nothing but minus five. Common difference minus five. And if you substitute this value of here, which implies that three equals A plus four into minus five. In place of D, I'm substituting this, which implies that A equals three plus twenty. A equal to twenty-three. Now, if A equal to twenty-three. So in place of substitute this here, so then y equal to this is a twenty three, and d is to be minus five. So this is nothing but twenty three minus fifteen. Nothing but this is eight. So value of y is eight. Then the series is nothing but series is twenty three, thirteen, eight, three. Five. This five. Sorry. Value of a. From here, the value of five for twenty minus twenty and twenty-three. So value of a is twenty-three. Let me take twenty-three. Value of five is fifteen. Five eight. Value of five is eight. 
so this is e this should be et this is a plus 3d a plus 2d it is from a plus 2d 3d a plus 4d 3 a plus 4d okay 3 a plus 4d if i subtract this two this is become uh, 10 equal to minus of 2d this is a degree of minus 2d so d equal to that's minus 5 and if i substitute the minus 5 here this is 3 equal to a plus this is 5 for 20 minus 20 is 23 yes a is 23 this is my correct a is 23 this should be Mm, sorry, sorry, sorry. Is my mistake. I have I have taken this to my own. So uh, again, I'm solving this. In, this will be sorry. Forget these things. This is my second term. This is my sec third term. My fourth term. So I can write x equal to a and 13 equals to a plus d or 2d. I have a plus d and uh, this y equals a plus 2d and 3 equals a plus 3d. So if I subtract these two equations, it is this and this. Similarly, I will get in this 13 equal to a plus d and this is 3 equals to a plus d. If I subtract the two equations, what I get is that is a plus 3d. So if I substitute this is uh, sorry, you must have become 0 and this 13 minus 3 is 10. You must have 0 and this a minus d minus 3d is minus 2d which is minus d equal to minus 5. If d is minus 5. And if I substitute this value of d minus 5 and here so which I this this is 13 equal to a minus 5 which implies that a is nothing but 18 and if I, both this will substitute both this value as here knew that x is a so it, this is equal to x and if I substitute the value here y so this y equal to a plus 2 into minus 5 is minus 10 this implies 18 minus 10 is nothing but 8. 8. So my series is series is 18, 13, 8, 3. My series is 18, 13, 8, 3. And so if you see the difference, this is different than 5. Here, 5, here, 5. Now next is third third part. So this is my third part. My third part it is given that this is my five. This is I don't know. And next is nine one by two. If you rearrange nine one by two, this is nothing but nineteen by two. You also you have to do, do the same thing you need to write this is my first this is my second term this is my third term this is my fourth term now if i substitute this is my x i'm taking this my x this is y so according to the formula a is 5 and what is x x equal to a plus d and what is y y equal to a plus 2d what is fourth? This is 9 by 2. This is 9, 1 by 2, nothing but this is 19 by 2. 19 by 2, nothing but this is a plus 3d. From here, if you substitute the value of a as here, so this will be 19 by 2 equals to 5 plus 3d. 
imply that 3D is equal to 19 by 2 10. This is 9 by 2. By two, so which implies that D equal to nine by six. Nothing but three to the nine, three to the six, three by two. three by two. So this three by two is already given to five. So what is my x? x equal to e plus d. Nothing but five plus three by two, which is nothing but. 5 to 10, 13 by 2. What is y? y equal to x plus d. This is previous term minus common difference. This is 13 by 2 plus 3 by 2, which is nothing but 16 by 2, which is nothing but 8. 8. Now I have solved enough, and you can you need only two equations to get all the values. So this 2 is is enough to get the value of a and d because it ultimately leads to the linear value the, uh, the linear equation in two variables and you can find the value of a and d and from a and d you can find the other values also now i'm directly going to my fourth question so what is my fourth question this is my fourth question and what will be my fourth question which term of an ap is 78 this is the ap is 3 8 13 18 and so on till 78 uh, till something and which term of this is my 78 so i'm assuming that my nth term is 78 This is my 78. So now I'm assuming that this is my n term is 78. So this is a of n is 78. And this my first is my first term of an AP. So this is a this is a equal to 3. And what is dt is 8 minus 3 nothing but 5. And what is a n? A n is 78. So applying the formula it is a n equal to a plus n minus 1 into d. And if you substitute the value of a n as 78, the 78 this is when the a is 3, this is n minus 1 and d is 5. That is nothing but this is n minus 1 will be into 5 is nothing but this is 78 minus 3 with 3 is 75. And if you cancel this is 5 into 5, 25, 3, 25. Sorry, 25 into 5, 5 into 5 into 5, and 5 into 5, 5 is 15. Which implies that value of n is nothing but 15 plus 1 is equal to 16. So that my 16 term is 78. My 16 term of my AP given is 78. Now, what is fifth? Fifth has two parts. I will be solving the first part and you can solve the second part. Find the number of terms in the each of the following APs. What are the AP? I am solving first. You can similarly do the second term. So, 7, 13, 19, that, 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 2, 0. So you are what you are given is that uh, so this is your first term. So this is this number of seven. But the this common difference that thirteen minus seven is nothing but six. And two zero five is nothing but the nth term. And what you need to find is the number of terms in the series. Now so apply the formula. So a n equal to a plus n minus one d. So what is value of a and a is 205 what is a is going to be 7 to 7 and n you don't know this is n minus 1 and d you know that this is 6 this is 6 now if you directly go to here this is this implies that this is uh, n minus 1 into 6 you know, 205 minus 7 is 198 198 and if you directly see this 198 gets cancelled from the 6 so this is 6, 6, 3, 18, 
1.8680, which implies that the value of n is 33 plus 1 in the thermal activity. 33 plus 1, which is the thermal This is the answer. What is next? The second you can term can do. You check whether one minus one fifty is a term of this. So you check this is my sixth. So to my AP is eleven, eight, five, two. You check that and so on. Whether minus one fifty is the term. So assuming that my uh, assume this is series. So I'm taking this first term. So I is one will be seven. And common different D is nothing but 8 minus 11, which is nothing but minus 3. And uh, so what I am minus 150, and I am taking this to my n term. Assume this my n term will be, n term is minus 50. So we term n term is minus 50. Now, and you need to find the value of n for which this is true. This holds true. So, a of n, and the, I know that n of n is 8 plus n minus 1 into d. Now, the value of a, a and I will substitute. And this is, I will substitute that this is minus 150 in equals in place of n a I will write 7 this plus of n minus 1 and d is minus 3. Now if I take 7 here this is nothing which is n minus 1 into minus 3 equal to this is minus 157. If you divide this, this is 3 5 of 14. 3 to the 6 point 3 3 which implies that the value of n equal to 52.3 plus 1 this is nothing but 53.33 it says n is not an integer value which implies that I see that here from the n is one p which implies that this not exist minus 50 term does not exist in the series this is the answer what is next? An AP consists of 50 terms, of which third term is 12 and last term is 106. Find this is find the number of terms. Find the 29th term. Find the 29th term. So question number seven. This is no sorry. Question number. So it is uh, find if 31st term of an AP is 11 term is 38 and second term is 73. Again, this is two equations. The indirectly they are giving two equations. So this is it is given that let my series is a a plus d a plus 2d a plus 3d. Meaning this is my series. And what is given to me is that this is 11 term. This is a of 11 is 38. And this a of 16 is 73. So, what I am directly writing by that is by using my formula. Let if I use my formula, uh, this formula is, that is a n equal to a plus n minus 1 d. I am directly writing this. I am directly, I will be directly writing this. So, I'm using this formula, there is a plus. 10d, the 11 minus 1d is 10d is equal to 38, and from here this is my 16th term, so this is a plus 15d equal to 73. Now if I subtract these two values, so I will be getting I'm subtracting this, so this is this is this, and this is this. So this a plus a, the a minus a equal to 0. This is 10 minus 15 is minus 5d. This 73 minus 38 minus 73 minus 3. This is 5. And this uh, becomes six minus three is three, so this is minus thirty-five. Then a d equal to five hundred thirty-five. So the value of d is this common difference is seven. The common difference seven. Now if I put this value of seven in this here in this equation, this implies that I am getting that this a plus seventy. This is ten to seven seventy equal to thirty-eight. This implies that the value of a is thirty-eight minus seventy. Nothing but two and this is six minus three is three minus thirty two. So first term is minus thirty two. Common difference is seven. 
and just like add it to the, the larger term. Now what is the fifth question? The fifth question is it says an AP consists of 50 terms. So this is when that the value of n is 50. And this is given a third term, this is a of 3, is given to be 12. And the last term, this is, it is a of n, a of 50, you can even write a of 50, is 106. What you need to find is 29 term. You find the 29 term, so you need to find a of 29 equal to what? Now, since we are given so much things, so this a3, I will write directly a3, nothing but a plus 2d equal to 12. And this is a of 50, nothing but a plus 29d. Sorry. A plus 29d, nothing but is going to be. Uh, One zero six, so this is one zero six, and if I directly subtract this, so this is minus, this is minus, this is minus. E minus is zero, so two minus twenty nine is minus twenty seven d. Into one zero six minus twelve, this is four, and this is uh, nine, so this is minus ninety four. And if you see this is d value of d, nothing but. Third term is 12, so it is 2d is equal to 12, and this sorry, this is not 20. I need to find 29. This is 15 term, given, so this is 49. 49 minus 2 is 47. 47. So this is d will this 57d is equal to this, this 2 times, so this is d of value of d is 2. So d is my 2, and if I substitute this 2 here, value d here first equation so this is a plus 2 into 2 is 4 is equal to 12 which implies that a is equal to equal to 12 minus 3 is 8 it now need to find the 29 term what is 29 term this is a of 29 is given and this is a plus 28 into d and it is given that a a is 8 and d is 2 so this is nothing but this term gives 56 plus 8. This is nothing but this is 6 to 14, so this is 64. So A of 29 is 64, or 29 term is 64. This is the answer. This is the answer. Now this is over. Now ninth question is, we are all doing the same thing. If third term and nine term, this is the same thing. The seventeen term exceed ten term. Okay, this is nine term. Uh, ninth you can do the ninth is similar to eighth, and so I will do tenth term. Now the seventeen term exceed the ten term by seven. It's given that the seventeen term is a of seventeen exceeds the ten term. It exceeds the ten term. This is a of ten. Directly in the a of ten by seven. It is given that we need to find the common difference. Find the common difference. So you know that you know that this is what is a of 17 is a plus 16d. Why? Because this is a plus n minus 1d in place of n right 17, which is 17 minus 1 is nothing but a plus 16d. I will directly write it. You need to write the formula and then put the put the values and then this is a of 10 is nothing but a of 9d, a plus 9d. Why a plus 9d was a plus 10 minus 1 d and 10 minus 1 d 9 so this is 90. and if you subtract this this will give me 7 so if you subtract this if you subtract this this is nothing but a and a just cancel a minus a is 0 and 16 minus 9 is 70 70 is given to be by 70 subtracting after this is given to be by 7 so this is by d is equal to 1 this common difference is 1 this is the answer now, 11th is which of the term of AP, this will be 134 more than its 54th term. Now, what is given that this is 
uh, AP is given this is 3 15 27 39 and so on and from here you can directly see that the first term is 3 and this is going to be AP not the common reason the difference is 14 minus 3 nothing but 2 the common difference and it is given that which term will be 134 and 54th term so what is A54 so A54 is nothing but A plus 53D so A plus 54 minus 1D is something but A plus 53D plus 53D so if you substitute the value of this is nothing but A is 3 so this is 3 plus 53 into now even you don't need to do this so this I am again erasing now this is this you will get something so this is my first time First. Now, second is assuming that my nth term is greater than this by 134. So, my nth term is p of n, you know, this is my nth term or m nth term, which is nth term, so this is a plus n minus 1 into d. And this is greater than this second equation by 132. So, which implies that if you subtract this 2, that is a plus n minus 1 into d and and this is a plus uh, 53d so this uh, since this is increasing a p so this is, I mean, this is 53d and if i subtract this this will be equal to 153 so if i am subtracting this this is minus 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 so n minus 1 minus 53 n minus 54d and this is after subtraction will be greater than by 132 which is nothing but 132 and if i then substitute the value of d d is equal to me which implies that m minus 54 and substituting value d as 2 and equal to 132 and if I, you see that it cancel as 12 and 12 and 2, 12 and 11 which implies the value of m is nothing but 11 plus 54 so nothing but this is 65 value of m is 65 which is the answer. So the 65th term is greater than 54th term by 132. This 12th is going the two APs have same common difference. Okay, this, this is some good question. But the, the difference between their 100 term is 100. What is the difference between their 1000 terms? So, this is a good question. This is Good question. We do some, do some analysis. So this is analysis. So this is my analysis. But let this is my question number twelve. So this is also number two and we let first AP B. So this is my first AP is A1, A1 plus D1, A1 plus D2, D1 and so on. So on. And let second my second AP B A2, A2 plus D2. So what it is given that the common difference are same. So which implies that the value d1 equal to d2 equal to d. Common difference are same. What is the first term? First term here is a1 and the second AP term by a2. Now what is given is their hundred terms are the different is given that it is the same common difference. First the difference between their hundred terms is 100. So what will be mean by my hundred term first series of hundred terms which is a of a 100 A 100 
Here this is no this is nothing but this is and so this will also be converted. So ultimately the common difference between their thousand terms will also be hundred, which is the answer. Which is the answer. Now what is say that how many three digit numbers are divisible by seven? The same as but what I have discussed with this two digit number divisible by three. So if I say this is like Uh, three digit number is by seven. So the first three digit number is hundred, hundred one, so on. So it's not my it's not my random. I'm just writing that my three digit numbers are hundred two till nine nine nine. This thing is done. Now you don't know what is my first number that will be by seven. So I'm writing this hundred and you divide it by seven. Divide by seven. This is seven by seven. This is seven. फर्स्ट थ्री जीट नंबर जीट डिजिटल बाय सेवन नो सो द माय सीरियल वी वन जीरो फाइव दिस इन माय सीरियल प्लस सेवन वन जीरो फाइव प्लस सेवन सो इट विल बी सेवन सो नेक्स्ट नंबर इस वी वी फाइव परसेंट जीट नंबर वन वन टू नेक्स्ट इस वन वन टू प्लस सेवन जो नंबर वन वन नाइन एंड सो ऑन सो हियर इफ यू सी दैट दिस इस ए इज And what is my last is uh, last we need to, to check this whether this is also divisible by seven. So if you check this divisibility, so say that is seven, seven minus seven, so seven minus twenty-nine. And if you see this is ten minus seven, whole twenty-eight. This is twenty-eight. If you take minus one nine, this is seven to the fourteen. Fourteen. See. Then so no, there is no more term greater than nine nine nine. It's three digit. So if you minus nine 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 by five, which will give this will give me my last three digit number. So this nine 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 minus five is nothing but nine nine four. Is my so my last three digit number is divisible by seven. So the series will be just numbers are just one zero five one one two eight zero zero one two one one nine until nine nine four. So this equation with a is this d is seven and a of n terms n term will be nine nine three. What you need to find is how many numbers. So the value of n you need to find. This can be found easily. Can be found easily. And you know all the terms. So directly applying the formula is a of n equal to a plus n minus one into d. And a of n is already going to be nine ninety four. And a is going to be zero five plus n minus one into d. 
also given to be negative 7. And if I directly substitute, take 5 here, this is a subtraction, so 9 minus 1 into 7, nothing but 9 94 minus 105, nothing but nothing but 8 9 8 80 9 18 and within that n minus 1 equal to 8 89 by 7 and 7 7 18 7 to the 14 14 7 7 14 9 and within that n value for n nothing but 1 to the 7 plus 1 to the 7 nothing but 1 to the 8 and 8 is my total 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 Divide this up Next time will be 2, last time will be 2, 48 and will calculate the value of n, it will give you how many multiples of 4 are there between this and this. Now 15th, this was, was the same with, this will just be the same with 13, so the next will be 15. For what value of n, the n terms of 2 APs are equal. So the n term of 2 APs are equal, meaning that what you need to do is, you directly need to take it down. So the, the two APs are going to be, since the 15th question is going to be 63, 65, 67 and so on. And next is 3, 10, 17 and so on. So for this, I am writing this uh, 63, so this is my A1 equal to 63 and d equal to 65 minus 63 which is nothing but 2 and for here this is a2 equal to 3 and d2 equals 10 minus 3 and nothing but 7 now they are saying that these two terms are equal here in both so and if i take this am and it term to be equal so which implies that a of n is equal to a1 plus n minus 1 i take this is d1 this is d2 and d1 is equal to the a2 plus which what is are saying that for what are the n terms n terms are equal so n minus 1 into d2 minus 1 into d2 so if you are getting that this if I directly open this is nothing but even 63 plus n minus 1 into this is 2 is equal to this is 3 plus n minus 1 into 7. Now if I substitute this value and take this here and this to be here. So what is I will be this is 60 equals to 7 minus 2 is 5 into n minus 1. Seven. And the same this is if I take this here and this will be minus n minus 1 into 5. Is 60. And if I divide this is by nothing but this is 5 into 5, 1, 0, 5 to the 10. It implies that the value of n is equal to 13. So 13 term of this two APs will be equal. Now 16 is what is 16? 16 is uh, given that this determine AP whose third term is 16 and seven term exceeds fifth term by 12. This is again the same thing. It given that the third term is this, so I will directly writing this short term because this will be at quadratic, uh, this will be my linear equation in two variables, indirectly, directly, directly two variables. So this is given that I'm directly writing this term is only a, a plus d, a plus 2d, and is the first thing, d is the common difference. So this is a plus what is third term, a plus 2d equal to 16. 
and it is going to the seventh term exceed the fifth term by 12 which means that is a plus 6b exceed the terminal then if you do the minus sign do the minus sign you can 6d minus a plus 5d equals to 5d equal to 0. If you subtract this is a and a get cancelled 6d minus 5. Sorry, 6d this is 4d. Sorry, fifth term this is 4d. So this is my 2d. This is 2d is nothing but 12, which implies that d equal to 6. D equal to this is d. D equal to if you substitute this value of d here, what you get that is a plus 2 into 6 is 12 equal to 16. It implies that a is 4. A is 4. So the series a p will be 4. This is 4 plus 6 is 10. 10 plus 6 is 16. 16 plus this is 22. So this is your answer. Now what is next is find the 28th term from the last term of this. This is I have also discussed that from the last term saying the 28th term from the last term this will be you find, you find the value of this n first let me solve this this will be number 16 question and this will, this will be number 17 question now this is going to be this is 3 8 13 and this is number 3 253 and so from here this is 3 and 8 so this uh, if you see this is my a is my first term is number 3 and from there this is 8 minus 3 is number 5 by my common defense and it is given that a must say fine and this is that a of n term is 253 now i need to find the value of n now i need to find the 28 value from this uh, so from the last you need to find the 28 value and uh, so if you reverse the series so this is so if you reverse the series this is this two 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 three 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 two uh, a n equal to a plus n minus 1 to d and this is a n you can just find the 28 term so we have 20 is a nothing 253 plus this is 20 is 19 so this is 21 into 19 into d this is minus 5 so this is nothing but 253 minus i have to define 95 so nothing but nothing but 58 which is the answer. What is 18th? So my 18th question is yeah. 18th question is the sum of the fourth and eighth term of series 28, the sum of sixth and tenth term is 44, find the first three terms of AP. This is also the same thing you did. just need to write the sum of 4th and 8th so what is on the right line is 4th and 8th is a plus 3d and 3d and this is plus a or plus 7d is 7d so this is nothing but this is a 2a plus 10d 2a plus 10d and if you get with 6 terms a plus 5d and this is why I am trying to find this is n minus 1d and so this is 10 terms a plus 9d equals to this is 44 so this is going to be this is nothing this is, this is a plus 14d equal to 44 and this is given to be as 22 from this is I take this one this is 2 divide this by 2 so this will become a plus 5d equal to 12 and a plus 7d equal to 22. You subtract this 2, so this will become this will be a negative 10. This is minus of 2d equal to minus of 10, which implies that d is equal to 5. d equal to 5. And if you substitute this value d here, so if you do the 525 is a plus 25 equal to 12. And Mm 
here this 5 if it's only here then v will be 12 minus 20 5 it is nothing but minus 30 so v is minus 30 so that will be the first three table of stages will be minus 30 so minus 30 into 5 is uh, 3.5 so this will be minus uh, 8 and this will be minus, minus 3 minus 10. this is for three terms of an ap now what is the your uh, 19th question so this is this is the answer so question is says that first time so this is 19th says that this subarao subarao will remain as the IBI governor subarao started work in 1995 at an annual salary of rupees 5000 and received an increment of 200 each year in which year did his income reached 7000 so it is indirectly given that he started with an annual salary of 25 5000 then this is first term will be 5000 rupees 5000 now in, in each increment gives him rupees 200 which means the common difference will be rupees 200 is 200 i say in which year his income reached 7000 now it is given that the nth term nth is in nth year his income will, uh, reaches to 7000 so what is this is just 200 and this is rupee 7000 so rupee 7000 so uh, you need to find the which years you need to find the value of n which is this is n so if you solve this this is a of n equal to a plus n minus 1 into d and if you think this is uh, n a of n 7000 equal to a is 5000 plus n minus 1 into 200 so if i take this here this is n minus 1 into 200 nothing but 7,000 is 2,000 if you divide this 200 divided by 2,000 is 10 the general value of n is 10 plus 1 is nothing but 11 so in the 11th year his, his, his income is 7,000 now what is Say so Daddy Ramakali saves rupees 5 in first week in the year and then increase her weekly saving by 1% by. Mm -hmm. If in the NH week her savings become this, find the value of n. So, what it says that, 20th question. So, it is in the save rupees 5 in first week. So, the value of a, this first term will be rupees. Now, per week in a of a year, and then increase her weekly saving by 1.5. So, this by D, the common difference will be rupees 1.75. Is the common difference. Now, her weekly savings, her weekly savings becomes rupees 25 in some in it. So, it's in it week, this is A of N is given to be rupees 20.75. And you can find the value of N for this. This is equals to. So directly applying the formula only. So what is it? A of n is equal to a plus n minus one equal to d. This implies the value of a is just twenty point seven five into five plus n minus one into this is uh, d is one point seven five. Okay. So if you take this here, this is nothing but this is, this is n minus 1 into 1.75 equals to which can be defined as 15 point seven five. And if you take this here, this is n minus 1 equals 1.75 divided by 1.75. Okay, and if you do this, If you do this division, this is fifteen point seven five divided by fifteen point seven five divided by sorry fifteen fifteen point seven five divided by one point seven five become nine. So this is nine, which imply that imply that n minus one equals 9 which implies that n equal to 9 plus 1 and 10. 
So in the tenth week, our savings will increase to twenty percent per each other from the second. Thank you for watching the video. Please like and subscribe to the channel for more videos. Thank you.